Fubal, Fubal, what you up to? That was a good day, right? Yesterday. So at first I want to say is is this hammer light -like candle, you know, I, I'd be more, how can I say this? I'd be more confident that this is, re is a reversal if this was right at the bottom of this. The top of it was right at, right at the bottom. And then the wick was down here. And then... If that was... Flat across the top. Instead of having the wick up there. But I mean, who knows, you know. It is what it is. But that's... Plus, I would have liked this to have closed higher than this red candle. Rather than coming back down. But so far we're looking good. We got pre market at two forty four, but you know, every morning every morning shorts pounded down, so we'll see if they're we'll see if buyers are prepared for that uh this morning. See if they're gonna give them a little bit of competition for that first two hours in the morning. Seems like they knock it down and then you know, you take three quarters of the day just to try to get it back to where you started first thing in the morning, you know, with all the manipulation going on and, you know, the moving shares off exchange and all the bullshit they do with shorts. And um, they have, just, like I said before, you know, they have so many ways. I know somebody made a comment that I got to re reply to about illegal shorts, you know. You know, we can't say that, you know, I mean, sure, you have, you know, you have uh, the illegal, um, what the hell am I thinking? Oh my gosh. Um, you know, like the illegal short selling and, and then there's legal short selling and so, but the naked shorts is what I'm talking about, you know. They could do that legally or illegally, you know. I mean, it's it's hard to say, but there's just you got failure to delivers. They're hiding stuff in options. They're trading shares back and forth to make it look like they covered, and you know, failures to deliver is just crazy all the time, you know. But uh, yeah, they just hide so much shit that they're able to do whatever whatever they want. But it just it comes down to the fact of you know. Once this starts pushing up, you know, they're better off to cover than to get caught doing something, you know, shady. So, but, uh, so one thing I wanted to say this morning, though, is I think this, uh, exclusive perks for investors, uh, this is going to be a good thing. It, it's, it'll spread the next couple days here, and if earnings are, you know, relatively around where they're supposed to be, I I think it'll be, it's a huge plus. I mean, it's it's definitely the right direction as far as getting more buyers involved and, and forcing these damn shorts to cover. I mean, that's, that's the problem you're having right now. It's just a, so many people shorting this. And it, I'm not going to even say it's just, you know, crazy freaking institutions that with negative thinking and just cynical, you know, or, or maybe it's somebody with deep pockets that have investments in other streaming services, you know, <clears throat> but I mean, that's where we're, that's, that's where we're having problems is the shorts, but you got to remember, you know, day traders and stuff too. Um, they'll ride it up and then they'll, flip the script and turn around and short it when it's coming back down. So, I mean, it's not all cynical bastards, so to speak, that are trying to put the company out of business. It's just, you know, it's just the way, it's just the way it is. There's short shares available. Day traders are going to take advantage of it, especially when, especially when Fubo has been making such big moves, you know, so, so often it, it's, if you're a day trader, you can do that two or three times during the day, the way this has been moving, you know. So you take little bits, you know, these little, these little run-ups 
well, this is a day chart, but if you win, you know, you get a little run up and then you know shorts are going to put you down. So you're going to sell off whenever you feel comfortable can make a little bit, you know, and then when they, you short it. So when they push it down, you can sell it, sell again and, or buy to cover, you know, but, uh, so we'll see what happens today. I think morning's going to be critical, you know, see if we can get that, keep from having that big push down. You know, I expect, I expect being so close to earnings that we're going to get some buying coming in here just in case, eh? And then maybe a little bit of a sell-off after earnings, depending on what happens. Or it could just keep going after earnings. You get up, you get up over this 277 and uh, there's going to be some smaller time shorts that are going to be like, okay, heck with this, I'm out of this. So we'll have to wait and see what happens in the morning. Maybe I'll make a video t tonight or something. So, all right, later.